Hello there you beautiful person, this is Chris from Techspert and I'm here with Motorola's fresh new Moto G8 Power. Genuinely one of the most exciting smartphones so far of 2020 because it's the sequel to the best budget blower of last year, the Moto G7 Power. Just 230 quid bags you a mighty 5000 milliamp cell, Snapdragon 665 chipset, the latest Android 10, a mighty 6.4 inch IPS display and lots of other great smarts as well. So yeah, great value for money, fingers crossed. So I am going to unbox the bejesus out of the Moto G8 Power right now, get it all set up and run you through the hardware, the software, all of the specs and everything you need to know. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Once again, as usual, my fingernails are definitely not up to this task. Must get a scalpel at some point. So let's see what you actually get in the box. Of course, first off, the phone itself. We'll just pop that aside, see what else is packed in here. And it looks pretty straightforward. You've of course got the usual pamphlet, literature, shenanigans, you get a three pin adapter in order to actually charge the bugger. It's an 18 watt turbo power charger, even though the phone tops off at 15 watt charge. And we'll cover all that specky stuff in a bit. And a bit of Type C USB cable action uh, for charging as well. Oh, and sneakily hidden away in there as well, do of course get Motorola's usual pokey pin device for actually getting your SIM in the bugger. Lovely stuff. Now let's turn our attention to the Moto G8 Power itself, which as you can see there comes clad in a prophylactic case. Nice free bundled accessory, just like all Moto. To roll the blows just adds a bit of extra protection if you want it, which is great stuff. And as the Moto G8 Power is a plastic handset, it's probably a good idea to keep that on there if you don't want a little scratches and scuffs to appear all over that shiny surface. And speaking of that shiny surface, as you can hopefully make out there, you've got this nice linear pattern on the back of the Moto G8 Power just to make it a bit more interesting rather than just a straightforward, flat, shiny surface. And, and you can pick it up in a couple of different hues. You've got either black or blue. This is the black model. The blue model is admittedly quite a dark blue, so it's not massively different from this black version, but all the same, I prefer it. It's got a little bit more character. And the Moto G8 Power is 197 grams, so it's definitely got a serious heft to it as well, especially considering it is a 6.4 inch and not like a mighty 7 inch beast uh, like some of those flagship androids. And Motorola has also told us that the Moto G8 Power is IP52 water repellent as well so definitely don't go taking in the shower or anything although a little bit of rain shouldn't be any cause for concern. Right so I am now going to set up the Moto G8 Power and then we'll have a run through the proper the software the hardware and everything as well. Really looking forward to taking you on a proper tour of this thing. And as you can see there the SIM tray has room for two SIM cards you can also expand the onboard 64 gigs of storage with a micro SD memory card of up to 512 gigs in size. All right, all right, all right. So the Moto G8 Power is all set up and ready for action. And the first thing to mention is that that rear-mounted fingerprint sensor certainly seems to do the job quite nicely. As you can see, it's slightly indented into the surface, so it's quite easy to find with your finger when you pick up the handset. Got the obligatory Motorola Brandon right there etched into the surface as well. And as you can see, just a quick tap of your digit to the surface and boom, you're straight into your desktop, it's nice and reliable and accurate as usual. It is worth just a quick mention that there's no face unlock here on the Moto G8 Power, unfortunately, you basically got the fingerprint sensor, otherwise of course you've got Google Smart Lock. And the good news is it's the fresh Android 10 OS stacked here on the Moto G8 Plus straight out of the box, you are bang up to date and it's the pleasingly stock version as you usually get with Motorola, no crapware pre-installed on there, anything like that, just the Google apps. So you get all those great Android 10 features that we know and love like a proper dark mode, you've got full gesture navigation support, all that good stuff. Motorola has of course made a few little additions, little tweaks here and there. The biggest addition is the Moto Experiences app. This just adds a few bonus features uh, to the Moto G8 Power on top of that standard Android stuff. So for instance, if you dive into the Moto Action section, you'll find you've got a whole bunch of gesture support here. One of the best bits is that one-handed mode. So what you do here is you swipe towards that bottom corner of the display and as you can see there everything shrinks down nice and easy to use with just the one mitt definitely very handy indeed so as you can see there all your apps work in this mode oh justin b brussel there for a second hang on just gonna go fetch the sick bucket as you can see there plenty of other stuff as well you can do your karate chop to get the torch on the go so that's on at the moment so just a quick ow one of them ah, every time i do that i bang my bloody knuckles off the desk and i never learn and then another quick double chop to turn it off uh, as you can see there you've got quick screenshots flip to do not disturb handy when you're getting some kip at night things like that. And now let's focus on that 6.4 inch IPS display. It's a nice full view experience as you can see there, very skinny bezels running around the edge of the Moto G8 Power uh, and only this tiny little people camera down in the corner there. Um, so very unintrusive, uh, certainly compared with some of the more Samsung 
E efforts, which are more centrally positioned, a bit more obvious. And there's a full HD plus resolution as well, 2300 by 1080. So as you can see there, nice crisp visuals. Uh, you can see <laughs> this guy's pecs in impressive detail indeed. Uh, nice and bright as well and strong view and angles. So certainly it seems like a good display for your media if you're on a budget. And also, I'm sorry, but this looks like the best movie ever. Barji 3, if anyone is interested, I'm definitely going to be checking out 1 and 2, that's for damn sure. And great news on the audio front as well, because not only do you get a proper built-in headphone jack here on the G8 Power, as well as, of course, Bluetooth 5 support, but you also get a stereo speaker setup, which, quite frankly, at this sort of price point is amazing. So let's just boost the volume to the maximum level. Border, but the iPhone 11 Pro is still much easier to handle with just the one mate compared with a lot of Android handsets. And that's probably just as well because there's no... So that's a nice, loud, crisp, clear bit of audio there. It's so slightly sort of tinny, as you can hear, on that sort of top volume, but certainly compared with a lot of other budget phones, impressive stuff. And that'll be great if you're playing a bit of PUBG, watching a movie or whatever, without the use of headphones. Otherwise, you actually have that headphone jack on there. You've got no excuse. As far as the performance goes, you've got a Snapdragon 665 platform packed inside the Motorola Moto G8 power backed by four gigs of RAM. And so far, Touchwood seems pretty smooth. You've got the odd little stutter and stammer here as you're sort of flipping about the UI, uh, switching between your various apps and such forth. Uh, but on the whole, not bad at all. It's the same setup as the Moto G8 Plus, which ha again, handled everyday experiences absolutely fine. And you can even play like some PUBG Mobile on those low detail settings, no worries. So stay tuned for my in-depth review to see if it indeed holds up well over time. But of course, the big advantage of the Moto G8 Power is that insane a battery life. You get a 5,000 milliamp cell stuffed inside. So that should prove more than enough for two full days of life, just like the G7 Power before it. And the likes of the Oppo A9 2020, which also come packing a 5,000 milliamp battery these days as well. I've been using it uh, yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening, and this morning. And so far, that battery hasn't drained much at all, to be perfectly honest. So it's great to see. Hopefully, as I say, it should hold up well. But again, stay tuned for the full review. And as I mentioned before, you get 50 watt fast charge on there too. Now let's finish up by taking a quick squint at the Motorola Moto G8 Power's rear camera tech. And Motorola's slapped a quad lens setup here on the back of the Power. You might think that's pretty generous given the budget cost, but actually it's fairly standard around this sort of price point these days. So what you get is a 16 megapixel primary lens, f1.7. That's backed by an eight megapixel ultra wide angle lens, 118 degree angle of view that gives you. Eight megapixel telephoto lens with a two times optical zoom. And finally, a two megapixel macro lens. Lens. Now, if you load up the G8 Powers camera app, it'll look very, very familiar indeed to any Motorola fans out there. As you can see, it's basically the same setup as usual, packed with various toggles and features. As uh, so you start off in good old auto mode, you've got full manual controls if you want them, so you can mess around with white balance, ISO levels, all that kind of shenanigans, even a bit of histogram action, very nice indeed. And you can shoot in RAW format as well as good old JPEG as well. Now, you can swap between the various lenses with a quick tap of these little icons here. So you've got the ultra wide angle lens if you've got a lot to take in. Uh, as you can see, it's not the fastest that's one between them, but you get there in the end. And then the telephoto action with a two times optical zoom as well. And even though you get multi lens set up on most budget blows these days, it's quite rare to find a telephoto lens on there. So that's definitely good value. And by the way, if anyone wondering who these photo test subjects are, parents will probably recognize them. It's Pip and Posey from uh, the famous books. Uh, Posey has rather unfortunately lost her clothes. I can I just point out that it's got nothing to do with me. As usual, you can access all of Motorola's bonus features with a little tap of this icon here. As you can so you've got plenty of stuff buried away in there, including macro mode, making full use of that macro lens for a nice crisp, up close shot of your subject. You've got the spot color mode, which just drains the uh, the photo of all of the colors apart from the one that you select. Uh, panorama, all that kind of shenanigans as well. And if we dive on into the settings as well, back in the standard camera mode, uh, you can see obviously you can change the, uh, the resolutions, play around with the slow motion video. And you've also got a good bit of AI action as well. So you've got the usual smart composition, uh, which can just help to level up a wonky shot, things like that. Auto smile capture and a bit of shot, shot optimization as well, tricky to say. If you swap to the Yon video mode, you can shoot up to 4K resolution home movies, which is great stuff. And it looks like you can use the ultra wide angle lens in video mode, but not that telephoto lens, uh, which again is fairly standard. And then if we swap around to the front facing camera, it's a 16 megapixel effort. There I am in all my blue glory. I believe you can shoot up to full HD front facing video, and then you've got of course, all of your usual photo modes as well. And there you have it. That in a nutshell is 
is the Motorola Moto G8 Power. You can grab it right now here in Blighty for around £230 from the likes of Amazon. Should be available via Motorola's own website soon. And as you can see, packs some pretty impressive specs and features for that budget asking price. So are you tempted? Well, definitely stay tuned for my in-depth review, which will be coming hopefully early next week. And I'm going to be doing a full comparison with the Moto G8 Plus, which should be going live just a couple of hours after this video. So uh, definitely give that a check. Pop subscribe, ding that notification bell. Have yourselves a lovely day, people. Cheers, everyone. Love you. Thank you.